Norman Hart. I'm going to do another little installment on my S12. I've got some work done today, so I thought I would share with you. Um, we'll get started today with uh, what I've done since uh, the last episode of the S12. I have got the uh, battery box installed with all the hardware. I've got all the, the brakes bled and everything working good. I've got the primer installed, the new one, and the primer lines run. I installed a gas collator, pretty similar to the one on my S14, except this time uh, I used the gas collator's instructions, and it says at the top of the gas collator there's a port that you can screw a fitting in to access for a primer fitting. I thought that was a great idea, so I did it. That's my uh, facet fuel pump that I have not installed yet. That's next on my agenda. Uh, please excuse the bungee net. That's what's holding the nose of the aircraft on right now while I'm doing all this work. Okay, if you come around to this side of the airplane, what I've done uh, so far over here is I've added these exhaust gas temperature probes uh, and I've added these exhaust uh, springs for the joints in the exhaust pipes. And uh, that's pretty much it. I want to take a second to discuss the water cooling of this motor. Um, what I got to talking to Rotax Rick, and we have determined there may be, or may not be, for that matter, an issue with the way that the water cooling is plumbed on a RANS. Okay, you see this big loop of hose here that goes up here and around this way, and, and there's a filler neck up there that uh, you use like a radiator cap. And, and then the, it comes down this hose and into the water pump here. It goes up through the cylinders, up into the head, and then on the other side of the motor, it comes out of the head here, and it goes back down to the radiator down below the plane. Um, potential issue is caused from this steam line right here. Now, Rotax, uh, when you quit running this motor, uh, the hot head can continue to, without water being circulated, can form steam pockets. And that's why they call this a steam vent. And here is the uh, steam vent fitting that Rotax puts on there. And that sends the air, when you start up, it blows the air up through this line and back into the filler neck. The issue is that this is the intake side of the water pump. And so you could potentially run air down into your water pump and cause a cavitation problem. And uh, Rotax Rick's claiming that that is a problem. And so what he is suggesting I do, and after investigating it myself, Rotax does recommend that you put the uh, expansion tank on the head side or the output side of the motor. So I'm going to use one of these little Rotax expansion tanks and I'm gonna get the 90 degree fitting that you can option. This one's just straight out here, this fitting, but you can get one that goes 90 degrees up. And I'm gonna put this here and I'm going to do away with this whole loop of hose over here and go straight into the water pump from the radiator. And that will eliminate any potential of air getting into that water pump impeller and causing a problem. Now, for you naysayers uh, who say, yeah, there's a million Rans S12s and S14s and everything else flying with this setup and no one seems to be having any problems. Well, that may be true. But as Rotax Rick described to me, the most vulnerable part of the head on the 582 is an O-ring. If you have a pocket of air around that O-ring without water to cool it, it can fry that O-ring. And it may not fail immediately, it may take a while. And so then your engine fails and you blame Rick or you blame, or you blame somebody else uh, and it really, it's a faulty installation. So I'm trying to point this out so that maybe it'll help somebody and they can do what I'm going to do and that's rectify this before it ever becomes a problem, which is my intent. And if you want to use this information, great. I suggest you research it yourself and come to your own conclusions. And if anything I've said here is helpful, well then great. But, uh, you know, I'm not a master Rotax guy or anything like that. I'm just telling you what I'm doing on my plane. So if you follow what I'm doing and you burn your engine up don't be mad at me you need to still do your own research anyway that's all for this time we'll see you next time bye bye